Hi, Andrew here. Today we're going to take a look at a load that a lot of people have been asking for, and that's Hornady's Frontier 556 Pressure 62 grain soft point. Now on the one hand, yeah, it's a budget load. It's not going to be a bonded, jacketed soft point. It's just a plain old cup and core traditional style. It's a medium weight range, and I've seen some bullets in that weight range fail to penetrate adequately because they've lost too much mass due to fragmentation. But on the other hand, this type of bullet varies dramatically from one design to another in terms of performance. So there's, this could go either way. We're going to shoot it out of my 10.5 inch ARFCOM upper into calibrated 10% ballistic gelatin. Let's get out to the range and take a look. All right, guys, this looks absolutely fantastic for cheap 223 soft point. Total penetration is 13 and a half inches. The neck is essentially nothing. Temporary stretch cavity is seven inches by two and a half. Everything's just about perfect. Let's get this projectile out of here and take a look at it. Well, there you go. That's beautiful. That's not going to be perfect weight retention. I can see that. But that's a fair degree of retained weight. I don't see, I don't see any big chunks getting dropped as far as fragmentation goes. But that's... That's super legit. And bearing in mind, that's from a 10 and a half inch barrel. So we should see a little bit better performance out of a 16 inch barrel. We'll get some photos of the projectile when we get home, but that gives you a little bit of an idea of what's going on there. Okay, so this was absolutely perfect. An outstanding performance for a budget load. Although the weight retention was just a little over 50%, the jacket did not separate, and that led to perfect penetration. Lots of fragmentation, which of course aids wounding, big huge temporary stretch cavity, immediate expansion, lots of disruption, just a whole bunch of nastiness going on, and then still nailing that perfect penetration. There really isn't much else that this could do well. Of course, this is only one shot. It's not a statistically relevant sample size. It's only one barrel length. So it's possible that if we shot this out of a 16 inch barrel, maybe it expands more, maybe it loses more weight and it fails to reach that 12 inch minimum. However, being that it nailed that 14 to 16 inch sweet spot, I'm thinking that even with some extra velocity, I think it would still come in over the 12 inch minimum, making this a really, really good choice for defensive use, at least in regard to budget zombie pocalypse type stack it deep stuff. But honestly, even if this was your frontline go-to ammo, it's not a bad choice. And at the price it's at, it's hard to beat. If you have any questions or if you think I missed something, definitely leave a comment below. I love to hear your feedback on these things even when you're wrong. If you'd like to rent a phantom high-speed camera like the one that was used to create this video, get in touch with Nathan Boer at AIM Research. I'll leave his contact information in the description below. As always, please like, share, and subscribe. That helps out the channel tremendously, especially in this weird time where YouTube is not treating gun channels that well. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, have a great day.